Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be discussing a tool that I just discovered, which I thought was pretty cool, so I figured I'd make a video on it. It's called Auto Tour IP Changer. Before we get into that, you know the drill. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you guys are coming to any conferences that I'll be at in the next couple of months, feel free to hit me up, and I look forward to seeing you guys there. All right, so if you guys aren't familiar with the Tor browser, it's called the Onion Router. It mask your traffic, right? You can try to mask your traffic. So this is a cool little tool I just discovered. What we can do is automate the process of changing our IP address so we don't have to do it ourselves. So what we can do, let's just go ahead and if you guys just go to Google and put what well, auto tour IP changer, you can come to this repository from FDK100. Kudos to you if you ever watched this video. Thank you for this cool tool. So let's just come to the code. We can go to the HTTPS and just copy this and come into our terminal and wherever you want to put it. I'm in my tools directory and we can just get clone uh, IP changer. Okay, so now we do an LS. These are all my little tools. And let's go ahead and CD into auto tour IP changer. And we can see that we have a few different tools here, uh, files, sorry. So now if we come down, if we just follow the directions, you CD into it, and then you can just run Python 3 install, right? So once you do step three, you go to step four, inside of your terminal, all you have to do is type in AUT, and then, you know, from anywhere you want in your terminal, right? And then you can type, you know, the time for the IP to change and how many times you wanna change it, zero for infinite, blah, blah, blah. And then we can go to the browser to change the, the sock settings, the proxy settings, and boom, boom, buddy, bam, bam, bing, bong. All right, so let's go. Let's go see if we can do that. So now we can just do Python three install.py. Do you want to install it? Yes, I do. Okay. So congratulations, it's been installed successfully. All we have to do is type in AUT. So let's just type AUT and hit enter, and here we go. So thank you for Ninja Hackers. All right, so now we have to change your, change your socks to one, uh, 127.001 colon 9050. So let's come up to our, I'm using Firefox for this. So let's come up to the little hamburger on the top right-hand corner, go into settings. In your general settings, come all the way down to the bottom. You can see network settings. If you're not using Firefox, just find out where your network settings are. And we can hit settings here. Right now, I'm not using any proxy configured to go onto the internet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do manual proxy. And then we have a 127.001 here. And then our port is 9050. We can go ahead and hit OK. And now all of our traffic that's gonna be going out to the internet is gonna be proxy through that. So now let's come back to our command shell. And time to change. So I can say every 10 seconds, right? Every 10 seconds, I can have this change and I can say, okay, zero for infinite, infinite, okay? So let's go ahead and hit okay there and we'll wait till our IP has changed and then we'll check our IP on the browser to make sure it's not showing where I'm located right now. And if it isn't, we're golden, okay? So your IP has changed. Uh, your client does not have permission to you. Are, okay, so I'm not really worried about that. Let's just make sure my IP is masked. I can just do, for an example, if config.io, and that's a little site that I've used. And obviously, this IP address is not my IP, 204.8.156.142. Um, this is, I'm not sure where this is at. I don't know what T1 is, uh, don't know. And I, you know, let's just, let's just go ahead and, let's go ahead and see if I can do DNS data leak. I think it's DNS data leak. Let me uh, go to Google. And obviously it's gonna be super slow. So let's just see if I can remember. Oh, it's no, not too slow. So DNS leak, I think it's DNS leak. Okay. And DNS test leak or DNS leak test, whatever. So it looks like I'm in Germany. I don't even know how to say one thing in German. So here we go. That's pretty much it. So before I let you guys go, I wanna revert my changes so 
my internet's not slow. So now what we can do is come back to the command shell. I can just do a control C. It closed, the, the auto tour is closed. And now what I wanna do is come back to this hamburger, go to settings, come all the way to the bottom, go to settings and put no proxy. Because if I don't do that now, I'm gonna forget and that's not gonna be good. All right, so that's pretty much it. So make sure you smash that like button. If you have any comments, put it in the, in, in, the, in the comments below. I always say description, I don't know why. But if you have any questions, let me know and I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay anonymous, take care.